Hi guys, this is Celine from It's Simple Artisan Soaps. It's been a long time, uh, but uh, I had nothing new to show and um, you know there was nothing happening so I just stayed out of uh, YouTube for a while. But uh, yeah, I'm back now because it's getting hot here uh, in Texas and uh, the body butters that I uh, made uh, started melting in at the farmers market so I decided to go with a recipe for a face and body cream so this is basically a recipe uh, that I got on uh, YouTube from one of my favorite soap makers uh, and her, her channel is called Ellen Ruth soaps and um, Ellen Ruth has some of the best or uh, you know uh, really really nice recipes for soaps and uh, bath bombs and uh, for body butters and body creams and things like that so I have taken her recipe uh, so a big thank you to Ellen Ruth uh, but I have tweaked the recipe to my liking and I have kind of made it uh, my own recipe so as I always say these recipes that are given uh, to you all are just basics so you all can tweak it as per your liking so uh, in the recipe what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to be using some uh, grapeseed oil infused with chamomile uh, flowers and I am going to be using some zinc oxide as uh, uh, protection from the sun uh, so that's what I'll be doing today in my uh, face and body cream and I say it as face and body cream because I have made this and I have been using um, this myself um, I've been trying it my family has been trying it so I think it's it can be used on the face because it's really not too oily it's it's like uh, it just gets absorbed into your skin and uh, uh, body is because you can use it on your body for, as a sunscreen and since there's chamomile in it it's really nice and soothing so uh, I'll give you the recipe when we start making it let's go in okay so what we have here uh, Ellen Ruth's um, recipe calls for uh, one f one and one fourth cup of uh, water and one and one fourth cup of um, aloe vera juice so uh, what I have here I uh, took the exact measurements but uh, it is when I measured it on the weighing scale it is nine ounces of uh, water and nine ounces of aloe vera juice so uh, what I did with the water is I first uh, made a chamomile tea and then after I made the tea I have cooled it and I have measured uh, 9 ounces from the tea and uh, the aloe vera juice that's why this uh, color to it so measured this we'll keep this aside let's measure that's for the water phase so let's measure the the oil phase So the oil phase, uh, this is emulsifying wax, I got this from uh, Amazon, so this is 2 ounces of emulsifying wax that we need. ounces of emulsifying wax we have stearic acid this is 0.2 ounces
it's 0.2 ounces of stearic acid. Now to this we will add in our uh, light oils. So what I am using today, this is uh, grapeseed oil infused with the chamomile uh, flowers. So we need one ounce of this. Then I will be using some sweet almond oil, one ounce of this also. Now what I'll do is I'll melt this in a double boiler and then I will, once this is melted down, I will uh, add my uh, hard oils and what I'm using in hard oils is mango butter and shea uh, uh, mango butter and coconut butter. I'm avoiding shea for now. Uh, I'm going to try this with mango butter and coconut butter. So let me melt this and I'll come back. While the wax is melting, uh, I have measured out over here one ounce of uh, mango butter and one ounce of uh, coconut butter and I have put my water, that's my uh, chamomile tea and my uh, aloe vera juice that I have mixed together, I have put it up on the heat so that it can come to a nice simmer. What we need here is that we need the uh, the oil phase and the water phase uh, to be approximately at the same temperature so now to my butters i'll just add a little bit of uh, vitamin e oil So vitamin E, what I'm adding here is 0.1 ounce of vitamin E. Once the wax melts, I'll uh, put this and melt this too and uh, then I'll mix the liquid and uh, the oil, the water and the oil phase together and I'll uh, hand blend it. So I'll get you back when uh, my wax is melted. Okay, so here we have all of the uh, oils, butters, uh, waxes, everything melted out. Uh, this is the the hot uh, chamomile tea and aloe vera juice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this in here. And 
then we'll blend this and this piece away. Take my stick blender. Be very careful, this is really hot, just so that it doesn't splash on. Just keep blending it till it doesn't cool down. Once this cools, uh, you can add your uh, preservative, your uh, fragrance oil, uh, your other additives. It's like 140, 141 degrees Fahrenheit, so. We can let this sit for some time, we can come back to it. Uh, you don't have to continuously keep doing it. So, we'll come back to it in another uh, 10 minutes or so. This is still hot, you need to keep... Uh, Mixing it so that the oils don't separate from the water. Since this is so hot, it is, you know, it's uh, such a liquid state. When it cools down, it's going to become nice and creamy. This is still at uh, 132. So you just keep mixing it so that it, you know, cools down. And once it is cool, then we will uh, add in the other ingredients. So for today my fragrance that I am using is a chamomile from uh, nature's garden and I have uh, optophen as my preservative. <laughs> I'll come back to you all when this is cooler and when we are ready uh, to add in the preservative, the fragrance and the uh, additives to it. This is still above 100. I am trying to get this uh, to below 100 to add the additives and, and the Is it a hundred and eight? Still hot to touch. Not very hot, but uh, yeah, it's slightly hot to touch. But still too hot to add the preservative and the 
It's not as uh, watery as it was. It is getting thicker. <laughs> now, if you see, it's like you know, way thicker than what it was when we started. But it is still pretty hot so we um, leave it to cool down more and then we'll come back. So now do you see how this looks? I mean it is still liquid but you know as it is cooling it is getting thicker. See this? come back and put the additives in it. So now to this we'll add our additives. So first I'll be putting in zinc oxide. This is zinc oxide. Got this from Amazon. tablespoon I to do a point five ounce point five ounce of zinc oxide And then we'll add some uh, coconut milk powder. This also another point five.
get it all wet and then I blend it. To this we'll add uh, the fragrance.
this to cool for some more time and then we'll get back to it So I have finished making the face and body cream. I ended up making way more than what I was making um, because I have this event coming up and I needed uh, more for it. So I did end up making a lot more. So I will show you uh, what it looks like and how it feels. So uh, I ended up making four eight ounce jars and six four ounce jars this is mine or you know as a sample that i would use and this is what it feels like it's beautiful soft smooth and it's completely absorbed So that's what the chamomile body face and body cream is like. So this is basically chamomile with uh, zinc oxide so, and obviously aloe vera so that it helps in the summers. So that's what it is when there's not a trace of it left. It's all just absorbed. And it smells wonderful. So guys, that's it for the video today. Uh, if you like this, please do uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. And see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.